the storm of gaming be with you. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and Grand Star Legion? Stormstriker SX9 here with episode two of my storm singularity summertime splash edition and this is episode two of my fallout 3 summertime splash storm singularity let's play in the last episode we well made our character and we just we had our fun in Bolt 101, Dad escaped, Bolt 101, and then we have to go out and follow him. We had to escape Bolt 101. Um, but yeah, next we also made our way outside Bolt 101. We found some pretty cool starting gear from the mods that I picked up from Nexus. The starting kit mods that I got. It basically gives you a better choice of what to start with than just starting with a BB gun, a 10 millimeter pistol, and a baseball bat. You know. But yeah. Okay. Um. So we made our way to Megaton as well. We disarmed the atom bomb inside Megaton. And Megaton became my new home as well as they gave us a house and inside the house there's an expansion mod that I got for it that gives me more room to explore inside the house which means more space and stuff like that. There are other mods we're going to be seeing throughout this series by the way and uh I hope you have fun watching this series as much as I'd like playing it. It's going to be a fun journey. And there's probably going to be a lot of dead inside moments as well. There may be times where I do die at times, but I don't know. I am playing this game on easy mode, by the way, so we'll see how well it goes. Yes, I'm using the, com the command PC functions as that's... The PC version of Fallout 3 is the only one that can do that, by the way. Um, the FOV PC command that gives you better frame of view. I, I set it to 100 because that is basically the best view you can set. And then also advanced level, which basically can level me up quicker without having to go out and do it you know, for hours on end. It's basically perfect for doing Let's Plays in between episodes, you know. Um, so, we got level 5 in part 1. Now we're level 10. So, yeah, I think we're at a good starting level to start our journey off. So there you go. Level 10. We are outside... Megaton, which I still not done showing what's inside Megaton just yet. I wanted to show the armory. It's a bit different. This time I've done something that allows us to go inside the armory without a key. Yes, you heard that right. Without a key. So, where's the armory?
Okay, there's the armory right there, right next to create the uh, men's restroom, greater size supply, and Moriarty's saloon. It's right next to Moriarty's saloon? Oh my god. Mark the map. We're gonna find it. Let's go inside that armory. I want to show you what it looks like. Then we'll be on our merry way to the DC ruins. Oh my goodness. This right here is also a mod called the 1000 hours. This is a mod I found that adds another store shop to Megaton. Well, I'll be. I know I haven't seen you around here. What are you doing out here? I'd like to purchase something. This guy is Holden. This is his shop. He basically sells you odds and ends that you would basically need. Huh. Anyway, that's what that does. Yes, I am going to be showing mods, so bear with me here. This right here leads to the basement to 1,000 hours, which leads to another shop. Hello? You can repair your stuff, as well as sell stuff. My partner like sells armor, weapons, and drugs mostly. I sell meds and clothes. Okay, she sells clothes and meds. And there's another one down here that sells the specialty item. Whoa, 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 buddy. What are you doing down here? Oh, well, if the folks upstairs are okay with it, then I am too. Hey, man. You look like you sell special goods. Oh, yeah? What's it to ya? Just let me see what you have, alright? Yeah, as long as you don't tell nobody. Curse Breaker! Excalibat! And Jack! Stab Happy! The Kneecapper! The Shocker! To get the shocker. That one's see ya. another mod that I got. Here's the armory. I had to jump down there. <laughs> so this is the this is what the armory looks like. They actually had a mod to make the armory look a lot better than what it did before this. And what it does is it basically is a place to where you can really get your starting gear. And this is basically your armory. Once you save Megaton and disarm the atom bomb with the spot activated, you're allowed in this armory and be able to use anything that's in here. Look at all this ammo and 
grenades. Really nice handgun. Bayonetta. Piper. Over here, it's got some Desert Eagle. Grab the Desert Dragon. Got some ammo here. Definitely grab the ammo. I know I need it. Some of this stuff might actually be from Fallout Vegas, as yes. You notice there is a mod out there called Tale of Two Wastelands, which basically puts both Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas together in one complete game. However, it's from a mod that somebody made, and it's a really huge one too. It basically makes it so you can play both Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas with the same character from Fallout 3. But what it does is it adds the stuff from Fallout New Vegas to Fallout 3. But the uh, Tale of Two Wastelands feels uh, odd. Oh, we're going to have some fun with it. We are going to have some fun. Grabbing ammo. Only grab what you... I do believe that it does respawn. The items in here do respawn after a certain amount of time. It's supposed to, anyway. You got plenty of shotgun shells. Alright, over here is more weapons. As you saw, I had the Chinese assault rifle at the beginning of the game, and there's a bunch of them in here. The Chinese assault rifle comes from the Operation Anchorage DLC. I'm going to grab the Dragonov sniper rifle. Yes, I said in the beginning of the game, I'm going to be using the sniper rifle and plasma and energy weapons. I would also include plasma weapons and pistols. Grab the M4 assault rifle as well. Grab the Barrett sniper rifle. And, yes, they put the M60 machine gun in here. This is like looking at World War II and... Guns that were used in Vietnam. Over here we got a Barrett Custom SD, which basically adds a, a uh, makes it so that there's a silencer on the sniper rifle. We'll use that another time. Over here we got a Fat Man. Missile launcher and a flamethrower, also called a flamer. Right here, another sniper rifle, the Dragonov Custom SD, which also puts a silencer on that particular sniper rifle as well. I think we could probably take the, the silencer version of the Dragonov. That'll be fun to have. And then we're going to drop whatever else we picked up for. Now we're holding too much. Um, we're going to drop the combat striker. That one is very overpowered. We're also going to drop that. We're also going to drop the kill blaster as well. Because that looks like it's a bit OP. We're also going to drop the laser rifle. We'll see why in a minute. Some would like to use plasma rifle over the laser rifle. I can, I'm going to drop that as well. I'm going to keep the skull crusher because once I get a companion, I can give the skull crusher to uh, whatever companion I end up. 
I'm thinking about going with uh, Paladin Cross from the Brotherhood. And I do have a mod that makes it so that the companions and followers are essential and they will never die. That includes dog meat, which is basically your canine companion for Fallout 3. Yes, dog meat is in Fallout 3 as well. So there you go. But I don't know where to find him just yet. Get to that point eventually. But I think I'm going to be going with Jericho for now. Because Jericho is a guy you can get from Megaton. And he is a follower as well. I'm going to drop the Shocker. Actually, I want to see what the Shocker looks like. Is it really called the Shocker? Oh, okay. Ah! It's a fist weapon. Basically got hydraulic. What does the Skull Crusher look like? So this is Skull Crusher. Yeah! Basically a Fallout version of a Warhammer. Or a Sledgehammer. All right. This is an armory. Anything you drop in the armory will always be there. It will never disappear because it's an armory and things will stay. So we can always come back and pick it up later when we really need it. So what we have right now, we're also going to drop the Chinese assault rifle. We don't need that anymore. We're going to be using the M4 assault rifle. Probably most of the time. And then when, we're, when we really need to do something, we're going to use the Dragunov sniper rifle and the pistol. I'll probably end up giving some of this stuff to a companion. Oh. All right, let's go upstairs. Gatling laser. Any gun. Empty display cases. We got more. Over here are the uh, energy weapons. That I was going to grab an energy weapon. Let's grab a plasma pistol and a plasma rifle. And over here is more guns. More guns, more guns, and more guns. We also got a spiked baseball bat down there at the bottom. Hunting rifle. A double barrel shotgun. Combat shotgun. A scoped 44 Magnum. I think we're good with what we have. I'm going to take a backup plasma pistol because you will have to repair your guns over time too and your armor as well. Don't forget to repair your armor too. Um, all right. I think we're good. We got what we needed. Let's go out there. This is the armory and I'm probably we're probably going to be coming back to the armory a lot. Just so you know. It's one of our base areas in Megaton for this story. So yeah. Think of it like my bat cave. Yeah, think of it like my bat cave. That's where I go to get my stuff that I need. Alright. Go ahead and make it daytime. I do also have a mod that makes it so that the weather is better. So it doesn't look all robotic-y and like originally this game does not have any weather in it at all. Not even rain. It's a bit weird. Boy, do I breathe a But I added a mod to make it so that there's a weather machine that gives the game weather. So it'll be more realistic. The sky will be more realistic. 
All right. You good now? I would fast travel to where I'm going, but since the stuff is not marked on the map, I have no choice but to walk there. So. I would have grabbed the M60 since that is an equivalent of another version of a minigun in a way. But it's a, it's a huge, it is a huge machine gun that probably Arnold Schwarzenegger would pick up and use. Or even Sylvester. Oh my goodness. Or Dolph Lundgren. They would definitely use those huge guns. We're coming up to the Super Duper Mart. I believe that's the back of it. Yep. Mostly just grab their ammo and caps. They pick up anything. They basically cost weight to pick up everything. And then if you pick up too much, you'll get encumbered and it'll make you walk slower. Than So we're going into the DC, the DC ruins. We're about to go swimming in the radiated water. All right. All right. So. Things go boom. Things go boom in the night. Ah. Raiders. Get them. I did say there would be decapitation and dismemberment. I was not joking. Oh hell, he's got a rocket launch. Careful. Switching weapons. Heal. Switch into the sniper rifle. Oh yeah, you have a rocket. Like this. No rocket launcher for you. And you, Mr. Goody Two Shoes, with whatever helmet you're wearing. That was a funny looking helmet.
All right. I think we're going to be using this sniper rifle for a bit. Why not? We've got plenty of ammo for it. Go in here. This is an old subway tunnel. Oh, oh, rat. No way to get. Those are Faragol Roamers. Oh, I miss. Do oh, I miss? I'm gonna tell you miss. There we go. Well, that was an easy lock to pick. Got another one here. There we go. This is an abandoned subway tunnel. Pretty sure that made a lot of noise. Rad roaches. They seem to be scared of something. They're scared of me. I could use that. It's the bug exterminator. Okay, run away then. Howard. Super mutant. Goodbye. Headshot. Got a nail board. What do you plan on doing with that nail board? <laughs> cool. Goodbye. Oh, he missed. Goodbye. More rad roaches. They're not attacking me for some reason. They're running away. Probably because of me being level 10. All right, we made it to Chevy Chase North. 
Yes, there is a street or tunnel called Chevy Chase. I wonder if that's a real thing. Did they actually name an area of DC area after Chevy Chase, the actor? Or is that just something they did for the video game? Let me know in the comments below. All right, we're going to switch over to the Desert Dragon, which I don't have ammo for, so never mind. I thought I did. All right, we'll use the... Uh, we use the plasma rifle. Actually, you know what? We're going to continue using the uh, sniper rifle. Because we're coming up to oh, super mutant. We're going to need it. We're about to meet some friends. Not those friends. I'm definitely not going to be friends with super mutant. At least not those super mutant. Hostile. I don't know who you are, but you don't belong here. The super mutants have overrun our brothers at the Galaxy News radio building, and we're headed there to back them up. You can tag along if you want, but keep your head down and try not to do anything stupid. Thanks for the assist. I didn't know this place was so dangerous. You've been living under a rock? This is DC. The entire city is crawling with super mutants. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey. You guys looking for a new recruit? Who did you say you were again? The name's Sarah Lyons, Sentinel and Squad Commander of the Lyons Pride. We're with the Brotherhood of Steel. We do our best to hold back the super mutants in this area, but when civilians stumble into our sights, that gets a bit difficult, doesn't it? You mentioned something about Galaxy News Radio? There aren't a lot of safe places in the ruins right now, but the Galaxy News Radio building is sort of our port in the storm. Unfortunately, the building's been hit pretty hard lately. We're their backup. So if there are no more questions, we really need to move out. I have to go now. Watch yourself out there. Alright. You're doing fine. Just follow my lead. No dead heroes today, okay? What's the situation? All clear, Sentinel. Five mutants released from their torment. The rest are keeping their heads down. Good. Jennings? Negative. A new recruit? Just a stray we picked up. The one that blundered into the uglies over on 42nd. Welcome! All right. It's the usual drill. Redden, you just do whatever Paladin Vargas says and keep your mouth shut. Yes, ma'am. Did she just say get bent? Oh my gosh. Headshot! You're facing superior weapons and training! Submit! I'll do that! Stand strong, brotherhood! <laughs> Did you see that? The car blew up and that brotherhood of steel just died I lost both of his arms Are you crazy Brothers stand as one Sniper rifle! Come with me if you like. We'll have the best view. 
come with me if you want to. Are you serious right now? Okay, we're switching weapons. Yeah, I can't use that sniper. Roger that. Always in our sight. Two arms, brother. Two arms. Two arms, brother. Bring it. Targeting. Excuse me. So, how did I do, Vargas? Pass my little trial run? Come on, Lion's Pride needs me and you know it. That Citadel guard duty is such bullshit. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Now knock that off. You're not done. You're wasting ammo. Ah, oh, come on. We just kicked their asses. We need to sweep the we're area. Clear out here. Stand down. You think those were all the uglies in D.C.? You take the east side. I'll go west. Okay, okay. Once we're inside, then we'll celebrate. Now you're talking. No! Oh, that's where the big behemoth oh, is! Shit. What was that? Get out of there! Behemoth! Red! Oh. Where are you going, behemoth? That sucker is the biggest super super mutant you could ever find. Probably Max oh. Liberty Prime. This is as big as the Statue of Liberty himself. Herself. Okay. I'll take the cap. I can't believe Initiate Ridden ran over there. There's a behemoth coming through and he died. Where is she? Got buried in the rubble. Oh my god. That was a behemoth. Yeah. When we get back to the Citadel, I'll talk to the scribes. Let it be chronicled. That's my genuine reaction, guys. We have gotten ragdolled. Ragdolled into the roof. It happens. It did go flying when, uh, when that exploded. Looks like it's all clear. Unlocking outer doors. So we just made it to the Galaxy News Radio. Welcome. Pleased to meet you. I'm Knight Dillon. If there's anything you need here, I'll try and help. What's this building for? You got a pip boy. Tune into Galaxy News Radio and listen. It's the only radio station in the Capital Wasteland that really tells it like it is. I need to speak to Three Dog. Three Dog is right upstairs. I have to go now. Just stay out of our way and everything will be fine. If you're looking for Three Dog, he's upstairs.
I guess it's my turn to thank you. Anyway, the area's secure, so you're free to talk to Three Dog if you need to. You sure you're not looking for recruits? I'm sure. You can handle yourself, I'll give you that. But let's not get carried away. Wow, you guys don't screw around. I'll take that as a compliment. If we don't try to keep the mutants from killing everyone and everything in the Capital Wasteland, who will? The Brotherhood does its best, but sometimes it takes a little something... special. That's where the Lion's Pride comes in. Anything else you could tell me about GNR? Well, the Brotherhood needed a secure outpost, and the guy who runs the radio station needed to not get his head ripped off by super mutants. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Three Dog is the man in charge. He keeps that signal broadcasting pretty much single-handedly. He's, um, interesting. I'll give him that much. I'm sorry about Redden. She died well. In the end, that's all that really matters. I have to go now. Watch yourself out there. Good old mutant cleansing. There's nothing else like it. The look on your face says it all. You're wondering who the heck this guy is and why you should care. Well, prepare to be enlightened. I am Three Dog, jockey of discs and teller of truths, lord and master over the finest radio station to grace the wastes, Galaxy News Radio. And you, well, I know who you are. Heard about you leaving that vault, traveling the unknown, just like dear old Dan, huh? Met him already. What's with the flashy introduction? Holy crap, you're that guy from the radio. Yep, guilty as charged. <laughs> I don't usually have exposure to the public like this. It's nice to know someone's listening. Makes carrying on the good fight that much easier. The good fight? What's that all about? Imagine a picture, okay? A picture of the Capital Wasteland. All that brick and rock. A whole lot of nothing, right? There's people out there trying to just barely make it from day to day. Fighting to stay alive and make something out of what they got. But then you've got all kinds of shit. Slavers, super mutants, raiders. They all want a slice of the pie too. And aim to take it by force. So you fight the good fight with your voice on Galaxy News Radio. Well, holy shit. Aren't you a chip off the old block? You are as smart as your dad. Since you know all about this cause, no need to explain the effect. Let's get you on your way. How did you know I was looking for my dad? Oh, come on. You're a spitting image of the guy. He's been here before and now you're here. Doesn't take a genius to figure it out. You want to find your dad, and it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. But if you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. What could I ever do for you? You seem to have anything you need here. I have the name and the talent, but what I don't have are people to run out and do the stuff I need. Sure, the Brotherhood watches over the place, yeah, but that's all they can spare. Galaxy News needs a doer. Someone who can go out there into that wild, woolly world and get shit done. So you game? You know anything that can help me find my dad, please just tell me. Just wipe the stupid look off your face and answer my question. Oh my god. You want to find your dad. And it just so happens his location is known to yours truly. He was here, at Galaxy News. We had a great conversation. He's a real stand-up guy. If you want to know more, you're going to have to contribute to the good fight. By my dad, I'm ready for anything. Good, because this isn't going to be easy. Galaxy News Radio is my baby. I love it. I feed it. I keep it changed. But there's one problem. No one outside of DC can hear her cry. You see, some brainless super mutant thought it would be funny to shoot at the shiny round thing on the Washington Monument. 
I see where this is going. Yep, that shiny thing was our broadcast relay. Now it's Swiss cheese. Without it, our broadcast range is quite limited. Of course, the factory that made the relay dishes is long gone, leveled. As in, we're never gonna scavenge that part again. This is starting to sound risky, but I'll do anything to stay to find my dad. It is risky. I would never lie to you. But there's something behind those eyes of yours that screams, I'm the one that can get shit done. Your dad had that same look in his eyes, too. That's why three dogs helping you. All right, how can I help? One of the Brotherhood guys that passed through here mentioned seeing a dish in one of DC's old museums. It's the dish off the old Virgo 2 lunar lander in the Museum of Technology. I want you to get it and bring it to the Washington Monument to replace the bad one. That's it. You've got yourself a deal. <laughs> I sure know how to pick them. You're going to be the best thing that ever happened to Galaxy News in a long time. If you need any more info, I'll be here waiting for you. Hee hee hee! We're gonna have to go the other way. That's the bathroom. You got questions? I'm your answer, man. Ready? Going down, down, down. Oh, it's dark out. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah, I finally got the sniper perk. What I need. We are now level 15. Oh. 
Get away from me! Stop burping at me. That's one foul burp. Going through here. Stand back. Goodbye. Anybody else? No? Then we're going. Super mutant. Oh, right in the gut. You see the super mutant go flying when I shot him in the gut? Sell some raiders. <laughs> Trying to jump me and to grab my shit? Yes, I said the S word. This is gonna be an edgy video. <laughs> Little on the edge side. Come on, boys, fresh meat. <laughs> We got to heal. Also, I need to pull our, our limbs as well. All right, they're healed. Take this. Oh, how did that miss? Even at 95%. <laughs> you go. Goodbye, Raiders. Oh. 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 Ah. Goodbye, Raiders. Come on, come on. Where are you? <laughs> Shot. This is only episode two, man. We already got some action going. Careful. We got some landmines on the ground.
Okay, where did you come from? I did not see you. Come on! Bye! Thank you! Light on. Getting dark. Now we got some light. And you finally get to take a little taste of the waste on episode two. We are finally getting some. Yes, when those cars explode, they explode. You can lose a limb from that, too. Hope I'm going the right way. That's Almost lost a foot, too. The map. Not quite. No, I, 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 although, we did need to go through here to kill some arrow ghouls, and we did that. Arrow is still pointing this way. Oh, so, not done. Going. Go this way. It's tunnel vision, guys. Dead. That was a glowing one. Stay away from those guys. Oh my god! Oh. dogs! Those are feral dogs? Meaning donkey dogs? Okay. I'm at a surprise with a lot of people. All in one room. What is going on? Is it? I just crashed a party. I just crashed a raider party. Let's go. Anyways. Thanks for your ammo. Open the Bombay door. Oh, this is the right way. All those raiders in one room. I crashed their party. All right, we're healed. 
forgive. Now we're going the right way. Are you serious, Fred? Oh. Get away from me! Oh. Yeah. Ah. They got super mutants on the prowl. Headshot. Oh. Headshot. No fumbling. No drunk super mutants allowed. Although that would be funny. Can a super mutant hold its liquor? Goodbye. Yeah, I know we're a little bit over an hour, but like I said, I will be putting chapters on here. So it'll be easier to watch. Here, not done yet. We still gotta get to the DC monument to get the satellite dish. Goodbye. Super mutants know how to scream as well. What are they? Klingons? Actually, I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to say the super mutants of Fallout is basically the orcs of Fallout. Yeah, they're the orcs of Fallout. Super mutants. While the the ghouls are the elves of Fallout, because the ghouls can live for a very long time, and they age slowly, just like the elves. Okay, looks like we need to rest again. It's starting to get dark again. So we marked the monument on the mark the monument on map so now we can fast travel to it once we get the satellite dish that way i don't have to walk all the way back you know go over to the monument yeah super mutants are basically Mutant orcs. Face orcs. Oh, I plan on doing Warhammer 40k at some point. Face orcs. Headshot. of technology.
No more games. Stop playing hidey Vault Tech, tiny. Welcome you to our new line of subterranean Triple S technology is Vault Tech's convergence of the three most important parts of Apocalypse. Being underground got you down. Smile. Our Simulsan lighting. Oh, this vault is dirty. Concerns about security? Our eye on you cameras, and should the unlikely event arise that the planet is laid to waste, you'll feel happy. We hope you've enjoyed our tour today. If you have any further questions, please take a brochure from our helpful Vault Tech guides. No questions, just fight. For as long as history has been recorded, man has had an insatiable hunger for knowledge regarding the universe. To understand why man is so interested in this unknown expanse of space around the world, we must What's the matter? You don't like Please. science? Sit back, relax, Stop interrupting the lesson. From the bombs of our planet as we take off for the star. Star. Planet as we star. For as long as history has been recorded, man has had an I've actually never been to the real life Museum of Technology, which is it actually really is in Washington, by the way. I've never been to it. I have been to the Museum of Natural History, though. Every state has their own. Every state has their own Museum of Natural History. Every country has it as well. This is the Museum of Technology. Now try and hide! Ah! Ah! Alright. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Ah! Did I grab your shiny dick? Oh! This is the Virgo 2. Lunar Lands Launcher. Lunar Lander. Yeah. That is a flying aircraft. So it seems that they landed on the moon again a hundred years later after they did it the first time. All right. Oh. So we got the we got the satellite dish. Now let's go back to the DC monument. Healed. All the limbs are healed. All right. Map. World map, please. Back to the Washington Monument. Oh. 
opens the outer security gate. Going up. Yes. The the Washington Monument really does have a big old staircase inside of it and an elevator in the center of it. I'm not joshing. If you've never been to the Washington Monument, it's a good place to visit and see if it really does have a staircase inside of it and an elevator going up. I will also say this. Did you know the Statue of Liberty also, also could be walked inside of as well? Yes. All right. The satellite dish is installed. Now, let's go back and see three dog. Move that. Back at C3 dog, back at the GNR building. That was a hell of a fight. Nice work. Yeah, it was. All those super mutants. And a behemoth. Hey, all right! The hero of the wasteland returns. Thanks, Three Dog. I was just glad to help with the good fight. Hey, you're the one that deserves all the thanks. You struck a major blow against tyranny. Now, GNR can be heard clear across the capital wasteland again. That'll give Eden and those muties something to think about. But before I get back to my calling, I bet you want to hear about your dad. Please, I miss him so much. Well, yeah, where's my dad gone? When your dad passed through here, he and I talked for a good long time. He's a real stand-up kind of guy. He mentioned some scientific mumbo-jumbo, which didn't make sense to me, and mentioned something called Project Purity. He also said something about going to visit a Dr. Lee in Rivet City. Then he left in a hurry. Rivet City? Where's that? You never heard of Rivet City? Wow. Just... Wow. Well, a whole bunch of people got together and turned a beached aircraft carrier into a town. Pretty cool, huh? Just follow the river south from here. There's no way you can miss it. How are things now that the power's back? I can't even tell you the love I'm getting from the wasteland. Ever since GNR started singing again, the guys downstairs told me that more people than ever are tuning in. It's all I ever wanted. Galaxy News Radio, huh? What's it all about? Without this place, DC would be filled with that crap the Enclave keeps shoveling out of their radio station and festering with muties. Someone's gotta tell the Wastelanders what time it is, and Three Dog is the one to do it. No one knows what Eden and his horsemen of the apocalypse are up to, but you can be sure it isn't in the common man's best interest. I have to go now. Anytime you need a place to crash, duck in here. Be glad to provide. Glad to provide, Clyde. All right. We done did it. That was a hell of a fight. Nice work. You don't have to repeat yourself. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. He went to bed and bumped his head and couldn't get up in the morning. Anyways, so... This is where we're going to end it here for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. Comment below. Share with your friends. Add the to click that subscribe button. And also click the notification bell to know when we upload new videos. This was part two of my 
Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition Let's Play for Storm Singularity Part of Summertime Splash and RPG game series. I forgot to mention that as well. It's part of that as well. All three together and fused together. So we did a lot of stuff. We had a lot of action. Oh my gosh. We had some fun. Yes, we did. All right. See you guys next time. Storm Striker out. Go ahead and save it. Thank you.